Hello everyone and welcome to LaTeX tutorial. In this tutorial I will explain you how to write or better to say type vectors and matrices in LaTeX. Before I start I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this video tutorial. Consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Also, I would like to mention that for the purpose of creating this tutorial, I created a simple LaTeX template that you can see over here. You can download this LaTeX template from my GitHub page. Here is the GitHub page and here are the template source files. A link to this GitHub page and to this template is given in the description below. Okay, so let's start. To type vectors, matrices, and equations in LaTeX, you will need these two packages. Consequently, you need to type use package and you need to specify these two packages. They are AMS Simp and AMS Math. Okay, so the first step is to add an equation. To add an equation, I use this align environment. I like this align environment because you can easily align equations. So over here I created an align environment and I will give it a label. I will call it equation 1. First, I will explain you how to write a vector in LaTeX. Usually Vectors in papers or in scientific reports are denoted or, or they are typed with bold font. Consequently, I will use MATBF and I will open a B matrix environment. And I will close the B matrix environment. And inside, I will type something like this. Let us compile this piece of code and let's see what will happen. Okay, so here is the result. You can obviously see that I have wrote a vector. Vector x with entries a and b. So let us go back to the code and let us analyze what's written over here. As I mentioned previously, matbf basically makes the vector to be bold. Begin B matrix and end B matrix create the brackets, the matrix boundary brackets. And inside I have A and if I want to go to another row I will type these two symbols and then I will type B. And that's it. That's how you type a vector in latex. Of course, you can add more rows by typing something like this and by compiling. So you obtain A, B, C and D. Often in scientific articles or books you might see vectors that are defined like this. For example, X is equal and then brackets are opened, brackets are closed and inside the entries are X1, X2 and then you see these three vertical dots and the entries end at x of n. So let me explain you how to write this vector and more importantly how to write these three dots in latex. For that purpose we will create another equation and let's call this equation equation 2. Again, for vectors we will use bold font, so I will type mat bold font and this will be equal begin align, begin B matrix and B matrix to close the matrix environment and inside let's type x1 new row, this is the symbol for the new row, then we have x2 and then we have x3 
and over here in the new row we will add three vertical dots we can do that by typing v dots and then the vector will end with its last entry xn let's compile this code and let's see the result voila here is the result here are the three dots okay these two vectors are column vectors however in your scientific publication or in your report you might need to write row vectors so let us learn how to write row vectors again we create a new align environment that is we add a new equation let's add a label to this equation let's call this equation equation 3 and let us write a row vector let us call this vector y and y is equal to again we open a b matrix environment and we close a b matrix environment and over here i will type the vector entries i have y1 and then i'm not starting a new row i actually need to add a new column you can add a new column by using this symbol then i have y2 and over here i'll have y3 let us compile this and let us execute here it is here's our row vector of course over here for example you can add a transpose sign and here's the result the next step is to teach you how to add three horizontal dots inside of a horizontal vector definition. So let's learn how to do that. Again, we open an equation environment that is an align environment. We add a label, let's call this equation number four. And over here we will type mat bold font is equal to we open a B matrix environment and we close the B matrix environment and inside we will type Y1, then new column, Y2, then new column, Y3, and over here I will type L dots. This command L dots will produce three horizontal dots, as you will see later on. And I will end my horizontal vector with YN. Let us compile this code and let's execute. And here is the result. Here are the three dots. Okay, so let's now combine this knowledge in order to learn how to write matrices in latex. Again, Let's open an align environment and let's close an align environment. And over here, let's add the label, let's say equation number five, and let's type a matrix, for example, matrix A. Again, the first step is to open a B matrix environment and let's close the B matrix environment. Over here, let's add entry A. 1 1 okay then new column a 1 2 then new column a 1 3 so let's see the result okay currently our matrix a is just a row vector however we need a matrix so we need to open a new row we can open a new row by entering these two symbols and let's start a new row so we have in the new row a 2 1 then second column a 2 2 then a third column a 2 3 okay let's see the result great 
this is now the second column we need to add an additional column again we use these two symbols to open a new row and then we type a31 second column a32 and finally we have a33 and here is the result here's our matrix looks very good since I want to show you how to write diagonal dots, I need to expand this matrix. So over here, I will add artificial entries. So let this entry be X, let this entry be Y, and let this entry be Z over here. Let's see the result. Okay, and I will add an additional row. For example, I will have a row Z1, Z2, Z3, and Z4. Let's see the result. Okay, and let's say that over here, instead of A22 and A33, I want to write a diagonal dots. So let's locate these entries. So here's our A22, and instead of this entry A22, I will type DD dots. DD dots will produce diagonal dots, as you can see over here. And let's replace A33 with DD dots. Here's the result. And of course, you can also add vertical and horizontal dots. So let's, for example, over here, add L dots and let's, instead of X, let's say, for example, instead of Y, add vertical dots. And here's the result. Next, I will explain you how to create an underbrace notation in LaTeX. For example, let's say that you have matrix A with some entries that I'm not going to type over here, and that below this matrix, you want to add something like this. For example, C multiplying D. Let us create this in latex. Okay, I'm not going to start a new equation and instead I will modify this equation. Under brace notation is produced in latex by typing under brace. And you need to open an environment. Basically, you need to add this bracket, and you need to close this bracket over here. Basically, this will tell to the latex compiler that below this B matrix environment, you want to add an underbrace. And we can do that by, again, using this underscore symbol. Then over here, you can type whatever you like. We want to try type C times, for example. You can, for example, for time, use C dot D. Let's see the result. Here it is. It looks very nice. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.